pink person is buy the dip. Did you buy the dip? Did you buy the dip? Just like the vast majority of influencers on Twitter and YouTube. I know that sounds stupid. I know it sounds dumb. And the first hundred times I heard it, I didn't get it. This person will be wrong every single time, but the last. This person will be right every single time, except the last. Purple person or pink person? Did you buy the dip? Do you want to be right every single time but once? Or do you want to be wrong every single time but once? Then delete your tweets and your YouTube videos and say, look at me. So this is the US 500 chart. Just looking at a macro channel. We've had this channel for quite some time. And what happens after you know, it hits a top? It makes lower lows. High, lower low. Lower high, lower low. A high lower to that one, lower low. Lower high, lower low. Big bull trap, but lower low. Bull trap, another big one. What's gonna happen next? A lower low. That is the trend until it's not. I know that sounds stupid. I know it sounds dumb. In the first hundred times I heard it, I didn't get it. If that describes you, the trend is the trend until it's not. Let's say during a Bitcoin bear market, you are a influencer who's saying, are you buying the dip? Are you buying the dip? Just like almost everyone, right? When me, right? So from the 69K top, are you buying the dip? 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 Right? Those people. They didn't know that the trend is the trend until it's not. Weekly, daily, somewhere around there. Four hour trends change all the time. But we're talking daily, weekly. It's a lot clearer on the weekly trend. High, low. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, right? Boom, 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 boom. So buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. All right, the person saying buy the dip, buy the dip isn't respecting the trend. So let's say there are two people that every time there was big macro weekly price movements, they want to be right and they're competing with each other. After the weekly trend is broken about here, that's when the second person becomes bearish respecting the trend. But the first, so person one, and then person two. Pink person is, buy the dip, did you buy the dip, did you buy the dip? Just like the vast majority of influencers on Twitter and YouTube. And then, but once the trend changed on the weekly, this guy says, ah, uh, you know what? I think it's gonna be lower low. You shouldn't be buying the dip. You should sell rallies. And a downtrend, especially the weekly, the equivalent to, did you buy the dip, did you buy the dip, is the real thing you should say is, did you sell into this rally? It's equivalently the same. That is the play. But here's the point. If they are guessing each time that that's the bottom, that's the bottom, or this person is saying, that's the bottom, that's the bottom, that's the bottom, that's the bottom. How many times will this person be wrong? This person will be wrong every single time, but the last. But it finally is the bottom and the trend changes. This person will be right every single time, except the last. What would you rather be? Purple person or pink person? Did you buy the dip? Do you want to be right every single time but once? Or do you want to be wrong every single time but once? Then delete your tweets and your YouTube videos and say, look at me. Trend is your friend. That's what it is. If you're not allowing the trend to be your friend, within that trend, you will be wrong every single time but once until the trend changes. So why not be right every single time but once? And then you realize, hey, the trend's different.